picture that so you don't. <laughs> oh, I can though. Oh, yes. I start can. shaving. No, <laughs> no, I know better. <laughs> I yeah. She's probably been through a few close shaves in her life. Oh, well, you okay. know it. <laughs> All right. Are we on? Here, here you go. Yeah, Was that yeah. a past life blink? Were you a bearded lady in a past life? Well, ding, 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 I, ding, this ding, rabbi ding, was ding, talking ding, ding, to me ding, through ding. this collection of Jewish stories the other day, and he said, well, whenever you have past life flashes, don't take them all too literally, because we're all one mind, so you're accessing the past life. You don't have to, like, identify with it. Like, And I thought that was an interesting point, because I can feel, like, I feel a unity with Hitler, to tell you the truth. Like, Yeah, but it's fun to know, because it, sometimes okay. it gives you reference points. I've wondered where you were, my darling. I agree. <laughs> well, if, if you can see the you don't issues like dwell on and <laughs> lessons, then you're more conscious well, about Well, past is matter. past still. Like, oh, that's my practice, really. Yeah. If you think the about it, now, there, here's, some, here's a paradigm. I mean, that's part of our genetic Okay, okay, I can, I can awaken this. Here's a paradigm to consider, man. Here's a primary overlay, so that's where you what are if first. Hitler? the rest of it's still acting on you. What if Hitler would just... Yeah, you're right, you're right. Like hormones. I mean, just for historical context, <laughs> <laughs> this dude comes in as Jesus over here and comes in as Adolf later. Hitler over here. You know, he the does. light and the dark. And then Only the real dark ones, ones were oh. not Adolf. They were the people back behind him and him. He knew. And the rest of that <laughs> war, yeah. Jay Wee. Jay Well, he had the spear of war, too. Yeah. It's the spear that, that, that poked Christ. Yeah. You know? They they recovered it, but he had it, and that's that's Who what did? Hitler. Had oh. what? Hitler oh had the spear that they the pierced. Romans pierced yeah. Christ with. He was way occult. That's how he got away with it. Fortunately, they recovered the spear, but, but he, he did. He had it. That's what gave too, him that you know? power. Well, I also heard he's a 33 life path number, which is Jesus the Christ is one's mm -hmm. number as well. It just Hitler did a different demonstration. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. sorry to laugh, but I've seen the inside of that barbed wire, and that's one past life I suffer. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's good that you can laugh about it. It is. Well, yeah. the family ch switched to Catholicism. They were Jewish gypsies, and they switched to Catholicism to preserve the lineage, which I reborn into. And it's fabulous so because it's a celebration. I do. Do you, you, do you hear I do. A I am. A couple of years ago, the, you know, the Spanish land grants out out in here and on into New Mexico, um, a lot of those people were Jewish. Really? And they hid that. themselves behind Catholicism. And when they went to to reconstruct a bunch of the old homes, they found the Jewish oh altars that they'd had hidden. Oh my God! Oh. Wow. Big time. Yeah. So it's you so needed beautiful. that. I did. Thank you. That's a triumph. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. That's very healing. Yeah. So, you know, just think of Catholicism as a shield for what you really were. Right on. And I'll transmute with a little sweet comfort song if you oh, There you will. Go. But awesome. first, Grandfather, I'd like to offer you this gift on behalf of oh. all of our relatives. Bless you. Thank Some you nice, nice fresh yeah. tobacco. <laughs> 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 Today we roll it. In fact, right now I'm putting this thing out. It's skanky. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah those pretty rave? big ones are. Oh no, I'm not raised. It's what I keep them in there. I, they're my home rolls, but I had, to, I had to go back to uh, top tobacco because I couldn't afford the American spirit. It really sucks. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. I may have an extra pack of papers in the book. I don't know. Sweet. Yeah. I just yeah. have to remember yeah. to take a little back to the book. Well, I really like the way you noticed. Yeah. Well, I, I on my best days I'm guided, not just. <laughs> yeah. My hands are and your hands. And that's a very good my um, exemplary for others who are perhaps less of us. That's a lesson these days. <laughs> yeah. Turn it inside out. You ain't giving, you ain't living. Yes, that's a good one. You ain't one. living, you ain't giving. <laughs> wow, what a gifting ceremony. Yeah. Oh, God, we love everybody, don't we? Oh.
Oh, we do. I tell we you do. what, it's like on an intimate level with every person you pass on the street. Yes. And you're like, sometimes don't want to be there. Yes. <laughs> a lot of crap on the ends and then in between you got some states that push their cops pretty hard to bust the truckers you know what I mean I there's guess. big money in it there's oh, big yeah. money in it because we don't come back and fight tickets and stuff except now we got all these legal organizations so we do you know we pay money to people to go fight our tickets now you know because mm -hmm. if you lose oh, your yeah. license you're out of luck you know That's yeah true. Anyway, I, I really enjoyed that just because you got all that solitude, all that time. And plus, the energy of the land you're passing through goes through you as you go through it. And it's just an incredible experience. In America, I don't care where you go, she's an awesome and amazing lover. She's just a, a, a beautiful, beautiful being. I mean, it's, I think this is probably some of the most spectacular creation Mother Earth ever put together right here on this turtle island man I think it's blessed. you're absolutely right I love it man. I have a saying that goes if you can't see the earth as erotic you can't find a lover <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true I gotta tell you I don't tell this to many oh people dear, but I'm gonna start bragging problem. now I like I was on top of the a mountain solution. one time as I was going through some transitions you know and I heard this voice loud and clear. You know, I was in some communication with some beings and stuff. And it says, make love with your mother. Oh. I looked at him and I said, she's my mother. It said, make love with your mother. <laughs> Three times it told me, so I did. We did. Hmm. And it was an amazing thing. I don't know how to describe it, but, you know. Not that I wasn't closely identified with her before, but ever since then, man, I carried her right here in my heart, right in the middle of it, you know, she's, she's my heart, wow. you know, it was an amazing thing, but somebody from the outside looking at that, that's why I don't talk about it much, would it's judge you, it's kinky, it's crazy, <laughs> oh, oops, oops. <laughs> oh shit, I, I almost reminded you before, but it didn't work. well, I don't care, you know, it's out now, man. But well, yeah, it's interesting. It was I was just reading, I'm reading this Jesus story, huh. like it's just it's set in the Magna Mary Magdalene yeah. era, and it's saying that Jesus was prompted to make love with his mother, but that he couldn't get beyond that barrier of. Well, I got beyond stigma. it. Let me tell you what, and Mama's a sweetheart. It, you know, I I don't grade my lovers. Yeah. They're all beautiful. You know, no, you know. This is but I tell you, she she. I d there's no words to really describe it. I, you can feel it, though. I know you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. Wow. Twisted as all get out, but yeah. Oh, that's oh. amazing. As deep as it gets. Oh, no. It gets deeper. Oh, yeah. But breaking taboos. I tell you. Uh, well, the old traditions are coming back. Yeah. And it's life. about time they came back because they need to. Well, they're coming back all by themselves. Just like your skulls bringing all that ancient energy with them. Yeah. That's what I was feeling yesterday yeah. holding that little red one in my hand. Oh, my God. And it's like, it's like an old friend I've known since the beginning of time. It's been with me in every lifetime. At certain times, it makes a connect through some energy and becomes that. But anyway, because those skulls can convey that energy up, see, we've mm -hmm. got all that access to all that wisdom now. Yep. I mean, they've been there, done that. The thing that we're doing now, mm -hmm. you know? And so this is kind of like our instructors, you know? well, not really instructors, <coughs> partners. Because they, you know, I, mentors would be a better thing, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody instructs anybody. Well, but the exchange goes both ways with them because they want new information. Yeah. You know, people are all twitchy about, oh, God, can I touch it? Can I hold it? It's like, yes, that's what they want. 
you know? Yeah. They don't want to be in a glass case where they just get Google-eyed. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's the that's thrill really of it. Like, I find them thrilling. And yesterday after Peter and Holly and Betsy and I were dancing, and all this energy was building through my hands, and I couldn't get my mind off the professor because I'd just been out, and someone had said they connected with the professor, and all of this... Um, ancestry came through and so that was triggering me and this this rhythm came on and this gypsy movement started oh, coming through and I just yeah. it, it was do you remember that and I, I just do. like just totally kept riding it and then right after that song was finished I went over and picked up the professor and I was a little nervous because I was a little sweaty and I'm like oh hold steady you know but I just brought that as a gift to him and to them and that was really fun too yeah And that's just one element. They're all over. They're planting this stuff everywhere in life so that people have access to that energy, that same kind of energy, that old life coming back to remind us of what we really are and to get us going and, and, and keep us going in that direction. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I have a friend up in Salida. I actually called him yesterday morning and I'm like, Paul, I'm sorry, but the Crystal Skull guy is here and I should have called you sooner, but they'll be back the fourth. But you still have time to come over. And he's like, I don't know if I'll make it. He's this elder guy. And he's like, but um, thanks for calling and I'll keep him in touch about the November 4th. But he says that there's this um, uh, spine of Archangel Metatron along this Sangre de Cristo range that starts about just the foot of Salida and then goes all the way down to the Santa Fe. And that um, the more time we spend in, in um, Theta collective reflection, like the, the collective Theta space, then this is like an ima a manifestation spine to work in a accomplice, accomplishment with uh, <coughs> Metatron. Hey guys! Hey. So New arrival. Does anybody know what the natives <laughs> call these mountains? I brought coconuts. Is that Spanish? Like we all love to say aloha, aloha, right? Aloha. I was in my first coconut. Mount Blanco was, was so like fun. the uh, Mount Blanco was like the. Uh, We're on film. Post for Hopi. Okay, I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. Well, yeah, this is the four corners of the four yeah, sacred mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I have your earrings on again. That's about all I know of the native legends. How you guys doing? Yeah. Oh, Coyote. Looking good. <laughs> should go on in and get some grub. Yeah, I think there's some left. Oh, a little bit. We brought some more. Yay. There's fruit. Lots of fruit oh. left. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Thanks. good way to start the day. Thank you for that wonderful yeah. presentation last night. Thanks, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being part of it. Thanks for experiencing it. Well, if I was to ask one question inside of uh, your talk the other day, okay, the question I would have asked, um, th what I want to know is like, what do you feel about, like you were talking about 2013 the other day, mm -hmm. what do you, f what do you feel personally about October 28th of this year? What information has been downloaded to you, or what do you feel about? Is it? that one of the Kalaman dates? That's Kalaman. Yeah, yeah, that's Kalaman. Exactly. <coughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody's right in one way or another, but the galactic alignment with the center of the Milky Way is a scientific, provable fact. And people can jump all around that all it. they want to. And it's not going to change the fact that that alignment is 2012 in December 21st. But yeah we're 10 years going in and we're 10 years going out so there's all kinds of really important days in those 20 years and there's all kinds that's when all the changes are happening and we've been seeing all those changes now for almost a decade already yeah. so you know I won't say Kalamon's wrong but I won't say he's right because I think in many ways he's getting people sidetracked Sidetracked? Yeah. You don't even, because I can, I can agree with that. You don't at all see the, like the pleasurable, like fantastical nature that he's activating people as well. I absolutely believe it. I, that's yeah. totally, it's totally wonderful. You know, I don't myself personally subscribe to his dates because gotcha. I don't feel he's done the arithmetic. 
correctly. Well, that Word. and that and I mean, there's a reason December 21st is carved on ancient walls all over the world. You know? It's not just the Maya that carved that date. Yeah. And well, he's specifically so coming out saying that date is wrong and I'm right, which makes me totally. I've never perceived it that way. Like, is, uh, yeah. Well, he well, has, and has, and has he done that? We're friends with with John Major Jenkins, and right. and John and and Mr. Calamon have just <laughs> gone round and round in circles. And but heads. There's frankly, a four, there's a I like them both. There's I like John Major. There's a four-year archive of their dialogues on John Major's website. Yeah, if you I mean, want to see the he just hammers John, and you know, John oh, really kind of oh. took <laughs> it and took it and took it and took it, but he's pretty <laughs> fed up. Really? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, and how how the information was downloaded to me, um, I don't know anything about like his lofty claims or like that part of it. But like the way I patterned it, the way I downloaded it is, it's not like it's not like it's December twenty first. It's yeah. it's another it's another portal opening. And yeah. the way it's been downloaded to me is that like a lot of those things that I that I still look around and see is my my duality. Like when I interface with society and interface with like the machine and the man or whatever that is, after October 28th, I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna have to pattern that as much. I'm gonna have to. It's gonna. It's th those Earths are gonna split off where I'm gonna kind of be in. Uh, we're all gonna be in our reality a little bit more right. tighter and not have to. Not have to interface with that other energy as much. That's the way I. That's the way I felt it. I felt that coming when I came here the first time. So basically, yeah. he's he's there's a, a 15 month bracket between that October date with the 21st and then the other date over on this side. So that's like, that is your center focus. Okay. Okay. But Harmonically. Right. Yeah. But the, 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 the center focus is here, not here. Okay. You're coming into that center focus now. Okay. But it's actually not going to come p completely clear until you get right to that. Ching. She doing here? Do you know Alea Love? <laughs> By the way, we're we're on we're on record. Like yeah. We're on record. You've been hanging out. Have you ever met Alea Love? She's from the islands of Hawaii. Alea oh, Love. She's I in know. Colorado now. Yeah. You should probably ask Soul Dancer that question because he lives in, in Hawaii, and he's inside. He's inside. Yeah. You know Robert Manoa? The one in white. I've heard of him, but I don't know. The, him the reason I'm asking you that is I would I would. She's an elder. She's about I think she's about 65 years old. And I really love her a whole bunch. She's totally that 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 liquid Maui goddess energy. She's mm -hmm. 65 years old. She's been all around the planet. She's studied with masters. You know what I mean? She's the whole bit. I'd like to bring her. I'd like to invite her up to your land um, in a few weeks if I can. She's totally worthy. She's totally worthy. <laughs> sure. Are you guys gonna go to the equinox? I have. Yeah. I, I'm gonna do my very darndest. I rarely commit myself to like events. I actually am committed on the 23rd and the 24th when I'm gonna try to shift those things and have like my other brothers and the collaborative like take care of it. And I want to be on your land. That's my focus. Yeah. This panel is probably twice the size of this wall that we watch the the sun and shadow play on all the spirals. And there's wow. three sets of spirals in the formation of Orion's belt. Mm. And then there's the two macaws with the chicken footed man in, in the center, and it bisects their fields diagonally. And there's this I found the row of dots. There's this row of dots that starts way above the cliff, and the archaeologists hadn't seen this row of dots. They say, hey, look at that row of dots. Wow, we've never seen that before. And the next time we were out there, here comes the shadow, <laughs> right down my row of dots. <laughs> it was great. But I found several other sun daggers out there that are just waiting to be calibrated. Can you talk to me a little bit about just will you just talk about those sun daggers a little bit? The sun daggers are basically the Anasazi calendars, and they mark the solstices and the equinoxes. Some of them will also mark the procession of the of the moon and the lunar standstill and they're just now starting to calibrate some of them to Venus, Mars, and some of the stars. Um, some of the archaeologists don't want that to happen because they, you know, they're a little stodgy. But the ones that aren't um, dependent upon their funding through a university or something are a lot more open-minded about it. 
and uh, we have with with those that are more open-minded about it have proven that these aren't Tobacco. just for the sun <laughs> but they're they mark yeah. all kinds of calendrical events not just planting and harvesting but also their major ceremonial times oh, wait. We're gonna have to talk about it before I get it. Okay. Well, yeah, it we can is talk his. It is his. Yeah. Well, let's talk about well, it. There's I'll gifts in it. Smoke my <laughs> I replaced it, man. <coughs> you replaced yeah, it. Yeah, I want to talk to you about that. All right. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it real quick? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she called it number. I just found it around. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just passing it yeah, around. Everybody would like to share the tobacco. Thank you. Do you? I do. I think this number is. Oh. Okay. Beautiful day. Yeah, if it gets any prettier, we're just going to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to rip out a flute song for you. And okay. Right on. This is, in my thinking, uh, this would be the perfect encapsulation for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good. Yeah. This is a comfort song from the grandmother that I, I get this. Here and there it is. L stop.